Hi, this is John and Happy Wife Bakers. Here's another quick and easy meal idea. It's empanadas. So we don't make empanadas very much, but they are delicious. They're, they're hand pies, uh, tasty hand pies. And so this one uses a pie crust dough that is already made, rolled up in the store, and then some other ingredients. So let's take a look. So in this pot, I've already mixed up some ground beef that was cooked, and about a half a cup of bell peppers, a half a cup of onions, about a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of chili powder, I used a little fajita seasoning, but you could use salt and pepper. My own little secret, I think when you put a little bit of sweetener uh, in savory foods, it kind of wakes it up a little. So I put uh, maybe about a teaspoon of Splenda in there. I also put in uh, some garlic, about a teaspoon of garlic. I also put in about a quarter cup of diced jalapenos. I like it spicy. You don't have to use it, leave it out. This is the pie crust. Even though it's already rolled out, I rolled it out some more. And I didn't want to go out and get the, the rolling pin, so I just used a, a plastic cup and it worked fine. A little flour on it, doesn't stick. I'm going to use this plastic bowl as a shape just so I can cut out circles of the pie dough. So I got four pieces of dough out of that and I'm just gonna squish this together and roll it again and I might be able to get a couple more out of it. So I was able to get six rounds out of one pie crust. Not bad. I got a little bit left over so instead of throwing that away when I make it I'll just wind up throwing it inside. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the filling and put it on the dough Got some shredded cheese. I'm gonna put that on top. It's gonna fold it over and crimp it with a fork. Okay, just finishing up, crimping these with the fork. It's a little dry, so it's breaking. They're not the prettiest looking empanadas, but I'm not taking them to a party and I'm not selling them on the street corner. Uh, I know they're gonna taste great. Okay, they're on a small sheet. I sprayed that with some oil and I'm just going to put an egg wash on top. That'll make a nice brown crust as it bakes. And I'm just going to throw these in the oven for about 15 minutes at 350. Hey, 15 minutes are up. Well, these look great. Look at that. Looks wonderful and it smells amazing. Keep in mind, there's nothing exotic going on here. This is meat in bread. So you could use chicken, pork, beef. You're essentially seasoning meat, putting some cheese on it, and wrapping it in some bread and baking it. Right now, these are going to be delicious. I'm going to try this. Oh, that looks nice. cheese has melted in there. The pie crust makes it so flaky. Open this up. Oh yeah, there's some, there's some ooey gooey action going on. Mmm, that is good. The pie crust is flaky. It's very spicy. It's the way I like it. I like spicy food. It's easy to make. It's quick to make and it's just downright delicious. This is one of those foods that you think, oh, well, I only eat those on special occasions. The older I get, the more I say, why am I waiting on a special occasion? Just make it, eat it, enjoy it. This could be one of those foods that you have with the family when you're watching a movie at home or uh, just when you want something a little different, a little whimsical. So make your version, give it a shot. Tell us if you like it, tell us what you did. Uh, hope you enjoy it. If you like this video, 
please hit that subscribe button. We do appreciate that. For our loyal subscribers, thank you very much for watching. And we will see you soon on the homestead. All right, bye.